Dear students, in previous class, uh, we have seen about partial sum and sigma notation. Today, we are going to see about sum of arithmetic and geometric progression. Uh, after revising this lesson, you are expected to compute partial sum of arithmetic and geometric progression. So, let's continue to the lesson. Sum of arithmetic progression. Uh, simply before putting the formula how to evaluate uh, sum of arithmetic progression, let's see how the formula derived. Uh, one day Gauss teacher asked the students to add the numbers from 1 up to 100. And Gauss came up with the answer within a very short time. And the teacher amazed with his answer and asked how he do it. Let's see how Gauss did uh, the answer. Look how Gauss did it. The sum of the first hundred numbers uh, is given as it is s equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus it goes on up to 100. 100. This is the sum of the first hundred natural numbers. So again, he add these twice uh, by uh, starting from. 100 to 1. So he put like this 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus it goes on up to 1. And then add this. The sum of this uh, will be uh, just add these two y's. The sum will be these two y's of the sum of the first 100 numbers, natural numbers. So this is equal to. The sum of these two it is 101. This also it is 101 plus all terms are 101. It goes on like this up to it is 101. So simply we can add these uh, numbers easily. We have we have 100 101s. Uh, the terms are 1, 2, 3, 100 terms. These 100 ones are 100. Therefore, therefore twice of the sum will be equal to 100 times 101. This is uh, twice sum. So the sum will be, you divide by 2, by 2, and you get this one. The sum is equal to it is 100 divided by 2, 50, times 101 will be it is 50, 50. So this is how Gauss did the answer. So how this technique was developed to a formula, let's see that. Assume this one is an arithmetic uh, progression. So to find the sum, let's follow uh, the technique Gauss, uh, Gauss uh, did. So it's the sum of uh, n terms of this uh, arithmetic progression is n uh, is equal to it is a1 plus a2 a2 plus A in. And so uh, to find or to develop the formula, let's add this in reverse order too. So S in is equal to, it is uh, start from the n term, A in plus this one, it is the next term, the, is this A in minus one term plus 
plus the first term. So when you add this, uh, you get the following. Uh, this one is just twice of the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. This is equal to the sum of the two is a1 plus a n, a1 plus a n, plus the sum of these two, it is a2 plus a n minus 1 is also it is a1 plus a n. Let's see this. Uh, a2, a2 plus a, a2 plus a n minus 1. a2 plus a n minus 1. To find this, a2 means it is, it is the first term plus d. This it is a2. Uh, and a n minus 1 is it is. Uh, we can apply the formula a n uh, is equal to this a n minus 1 plus d. Therefore, a n minus 1 is it is a n minus d. Therefore, from this, you can cancel these two. The sum will be this a 1 plus a n. Therefore, uh, the sum of the two is also it is a 1 plus it is a n. Uh, plus, plus the term of this also the sum of these two is also this a one plus a a one plus a n. Therefore, you can see all the terms, all the terms, the sum of the terms are a one plus a n, a one plus a n, a one plus a n. We have how many a one plus a n? We have n a1 plus a n because the terms, if you count the terms a1, a2, a3, a4, a n. So we have n terms here. So these sums are n. Therefore, uh, you can write this in this form. Twice of s n, this is equal to n times a1 plus n times a1 plus a n. Therefore, divide this by 2, you get that the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is equal to dividing by 2, it's n over 2 into uh, a1 plus a1 plus a n. So this is a formula, or we can further rewrite this in other form, uh, s n is equal to, it is n over 2 into uh, a1 plus uh, I hope you remember the general term a n uh, is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 times the difference. So the n term is equal to this a 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Therefore, this becomes uh, s n, the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is given by n over 2 into a 1 plus a 1 is twice of uh, a 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So this is the formula to evaluate the sum of n terms of an arithmetic uh, progression. So this is a formula, we derived it. So it's the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. It is given by n over 2 times twice of a 1 plus n minus 1 times the difference. So let's proceed to example. Now, let's see the first example. Uh, in this example, uh, find the sum of, find the sum of uh, S8, or the sum of the eighth term of the arithmetic uh, sequence, whose first term is 4, whose first term is 4, and the common difference is it is 5 here. That is, we are asked to find S8. S8, A A1 is given, it is, A1 is how much? It is 4. A1 is 4, and the common difference it is 5. We need to find the sum of the eighth term. So let's see how uh, to do this. So applying this formula, uh, Sn is equal to n over 2 into twice of a1 plus n minus 1 times the difference. You get this one. So the sum of eighth term is 8. You put 8 in place of n, 8 over 2 into twice of the first term is 4, plus n is 8, n 8 minus 1 times the common difference is 5. So this is the sum of the first 8 terms. So uh, simplifying this, you get this one. This is 4, 8. 8 minus 1, 7 times 5, 35. So the final answer will be C 172. Let's proceed to another example.
example 2 uh, says here find the sum of the first 20 terms of a sequence whose general term is given here the general term is this a n is equal to 4 n you are asked to find the sum of the first 20 terms so to do this first let's try to list some of the elements of this sequence the first term of this sequence when you put one here you get four and the second term four times which is eight the third term 12 it goes on like this so from this uh, you can see that the first term a1 the first term a1 is it is four and the common difference of uh, this arithmetic progression is it is four and we are asked to find what we are asked to find the sum of the first 20 terms so applying the formula we will have this one sn is a formula like this so putting the numbers in the formula you will have this one the sum of 20 term is 20 n is 20 20 over 2 times twice of 4 plus n is 20 minus 1 times 4 therefore this will be this 10 times the result is this 8 plus 1 6 the final answer uh, will be this 840 now let's continue to another example 3 so here uh, if the n is partial sum of an arithmetic sequence is given to be twice of n squared and you are asked to find the n term of this an arithmetic sequence the formula for n term so here SN is given SN the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression it is given to be it is 2n squared so you are asked to find what the formula for n term of this an arithmetic sequence so to evaluate this to evaluate this n term means the sum of n terms of the sequence minus the sum of n minus one terms of the sequence uh, if you look this one the sum of n term minus sum of n minus one term this n minus one term cancels the remaining n minus one term you will have only n term so a n is given by this form therefore this means s n that the, the second one is this s n minus one therefore you will have this one uh, the n term is given by this is the sum of the first n term sequence minus the other one is the sum of n minus one terms so uh, a n is equal to s n is given it is 2n squared so 2n squared minus uh, s n minus one means simply you can put n minus one here so two times n minus one squared therefore simplifying this you'll have this one 2 n squared minus twice of this is this n squared minus 2 n plus 1 so distributing 2 and you'll have this one 2 n squared minus twice of n squared this becomes plus 4 n this is this minus 2 so simplifying these two just cancelling this you will have 4 n minus 2 therefore the n term of this an arithmetic progression is it is 4 n minus 2 so let's proceed to another example example 4 example 4 says here find the sum of the integers between 301 and 400 inclusive that are a multiples of 4 that means the numbers which are divisible by 4 so to find the sum of uh, this you have to first list the terms you have to list the terms uh, that means the terms that are divisible by numbers that are divisible by 4 which are found between 301 and 400 uh, inclusive inclusive so let's see the numbers so the terms of the sequence which are divisible by 4 are the first term which is divisible in this interval which is divisible by 4 is 304 301 is not divisible by 4 so the number the next to this the number which is divisible by 4 is this 304 the next one is 308 and it goes on up to 400 
we included 400 here. Uh, the question says you can include it is inclusive. It's inclusive. We can include 301 and 400, not only the numbers which are found between these two. But 301 is not a multiple of 4, so we exclude that. So then the terms of the sequence are 304, 308, and 400. So we need to find the sum of these terms, the sum of these terms. To find the sum, we have the first term, it is 304, and the common difference is this 4. And we don't know uh, the term, uh, in which term this 400 is belongs. Is it in one second, in third, fourth? So we need to find that. So assume this 400 is on n term, so a n is equal to 400. After that, uh, we need to find n, and then after finding n, we'll proceed to evaluate s n. So let's continue. Uh, I hope you remember this formula. The n term of an arithmetic progression is given by a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So from this, uh, n term is this 400. 400 is equal to the first term is t304 plus n minus 1 times d. If you multiply this by 4, you get this result. It is 4n minus 4. So from this, uh, 4n is equal to this, this 300, shift to the other side, 400 minus 300 is this 100. So dividing this by 4, you get n is 25. So the number of terms, these are 25 terms. We have 25 terms. So we are asked to find the sum of these 25 terms. So applying the formula, this formula, you will have this one. S25, this is equal to 25 over 2 times twice of A1. A1, the first term is this 304, twice of A1 plus N is this 25 minus 1. The common difference is 4. So the result will be this. When you simplify this, you get uh, 8,800. So you can check uh, the numerical value at the end of the lesson or the lecture. So let's proceed to the other part. Example 5, let's see example 5. Every day a person saves 5 cents more. He saves 5 cents more than the amount he saved on the previous day. So his target is to save the total amount of this much cents, 3,225 cents, by the end of 30 days. The, so the question is, how much must be uh, the starting saving to meet the target? This is the question. So to solve this, uh, we need to find uh, the first term, uh, the common difference, and here uh, the sum of the n term is given 3,225. So uh, let's see, let's list these uh, values. Uh, this 3,225 is the sum of money he saved on 30 days. So that means S30 is this 3,225. Here, the amount of saving uh, is five cents more than the amount he saved on a previous day. For example, he sa if he saved 10 cents to today, on the next day, he saves what? What amount? Five more, 15. On the next day, he saves, it is 20. So from this, you can see that the common difference it is five. Therefore, the common difference is five. So we are asked to find the first term, A1. So applying the formula, we can find a one. This is a formula, and so the sum of certain terms is given. It is three thousand two hundred twenty-five. This is equal to n is thirty, so thirty over two times twice of a one plus n is thirty. Thirty minus one. The common difference we have found five. So this is the answer. So let's proceed. Uh, let's simplify it. This is three thousand two hundred twenty-five. This one is fifteen. Divide by 15 both sides, you get this one is equal to twice of a1. This result is, is 145. So to find twice of a1, or to find a1, or twice of a1, this is equal to this. Uh, this result is this 215 uh, minus, just putting this to the side, minus 145. So 
Uh, the result will be t is twice of 1 is equal to 70. Divided by 2, you get 35. So he started saving from 35 cents, this answer. So let's continue to the other part. Now, sum of uh, geometric progression. The next part is sum of the terms of geometric progression. Uh, to find the sum of terms of uh, geometric progression, let's see how the formula is derived. So look, assume, assume this Gn, assume this Gn is it is a geometric progression, and the sum of n terms of this geometric progression is equal to this, the first term plus the second term. The second term, I can write second term by this formula, G1 times R. And the third term, it is, I can write the third term in this form, G1 times R squared, third term. And the fourth term in its like this, plus G1 times the n term is, it is G1 times R to the power of n minus 1. So, this is it. Now, again, Multiply this by R, by common ratio, R times Sn. R times Sn, this is equal to, you multiply the whole part by R, so you have this one, G1 times R, plus here, this becomes this, G1 times R squared, plus, this becomes this, G1 times R cubed, G1 times R cubed plus the last term will be this G1 times R the power of N. R the power of N minus 1 times R is this. R is the power of N. So next to this, simply subtract S, uh, from this part, subtract this part. So you'll have this one SN minus. R times SN is equal to, when you subtract this, this whole part becomes negative. So this minus G1, all are negative. So this cancels with this one. This cancels with this one. And G1 times R is also there. And this G1 times R is in minus 1 cancels by G1 times R is in minus 1. There is uh, in front of this, there is G1 times R is to minus 1, so that cancels. Only the remaining part is this one and this. The whole part cancels. So you will have this answer. G1 minus, this is negative, you are subtracting. G1 minus uh, G1 times R is to N. So you can factor S in here. S in into 1 minus R. This is equal to, you can take G1 outside here, or you can factor G1. So you'll have this one, 1 minus R raised to N. So next, divide by 1 minus R. We divide this by 1 minus R for, for R is different from 1. For R different from 1, we can divide both sides by 1 minus r by 1 minus r. So this cancels the sum of n terms of this geometric progression is given by this g1 times 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. This is a formula. By the way, we can rewrite this in this form. Let me write here g1 times g1 times 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. This is the same as, this is the same as, you can take negative outside here and multiply on the numerator, you get this one, g1 times, it is r raised to n minus 1, when you multiply this by negative, uh, you can reverse this too, over, over, this becomes also this r minus 1. This is this, uh, the formula to calculate the sum of n terms of uh, geometric progression where r is different from r is different from 1 this is a formula if r is equal to 1 
in that case, all terms are the same. The first term, G1. Second term, G1. The third term, G1. So for R is equal to 1, for R is equal to 1, the sum of n terms of this progression will be this. n times G1, since all terms are the same, simply multiply by n. This is for R is equal to 1. So this is how the formula was derived. So this is a formula. Uh, let gn is a geometric progression with common ratio r. So the sum of the first n terms is n is given by, we drive this formula, g1 times 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r, or we can write this, this g1 times, just to reverse the two simplicities, r raised to n minus 1 over r minus 1, if r is different from 1. If it is r is 1, simply the sum of terms will be this, n times g1. So let's apply this formula. Through example, let's see uh, this example. Uh, given the sequence 1, 3, 9, 27, it goes on like this. You are asked to find the sum of the five terms of this sequence. Uh, to find this, uh, when you see the progression, it is a geometric progression because it has a common ratio 3 divided by 1 is 3, 9 divided by 3, it's 27 over 9 equals 3. So this is, this is a geometric sequence with first term 1. And the common ratio is it is 3, and you are asked to find the sum of the first five terms. So we are asked to find this. So applying the formula, using this formula, Sn is equal to G1 times R raised to N minus 1 over R minus 1. Just G1 is 1, R is 3. So putting these numbers on the formula, you will have this. S5 is equal to G1 is 1 times r is this 3, so 4 or 5 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. When you value this, you will have this one. Uh, so the answer will be 242 over 2. This becomes this 121. So let's add one more example for this part. Example 2. Uh, we are asked to value this. The sum of 1 over 2k, where k starts from 1 up to 10. To find the sum of this uh, sequence, we need first to put the sum of the terms of this sequence. Uh, so let's see the terms of the sequence. The first term of this sequence is you put 1 here, you get 1 over 2, it is 1 over 2. The second term, put 2 here, it is 1 over 2 squared, it's 1 over 4, and it goes on like this. So when you see uh, the sequence, it is a geometric sequence with first term 1 over 2, and the common ratio, take the ratio of the two, 1 over 4 divided by 1 over 2, this is 1 over 2, and so on. So the common ratio is 1 over 2. We are asked to find S10. S10. So uh, using the formula, S10 is given as G1 times R raised to N minus 1 over R minus 1. So this is equal to S10 is equal to G1 is 1 over 2, and R is also, it is 1 over 2, 1 over 2 is the power of 10 minus 1 over R 1 over 2 minus 1. So simplifying this, I can write this 1 over 2 in the form of 2 raised to negative 1, and the difference of this is also negative 1 over 2, negative 2 raised to minus 1. So this, I can write this to the power of negative 10, so to the power of negative 10 minus 1. You can cancel this too, but negative is there. So put negative on the upper side, multiply it, you get, uh, you get uh, this result. When you multiply this by negative, this negative, multiply it above uh, or the numerator. So when you multiply it, this becomes positive, this becomes negative. The answer will be this, 1 minus to the power of negative 10. I can leave the answer in this form. The answer will be this, 1 minus to the power of negative 10. Uh, so this is, it is all about uh, today's lesson. So uh, I will give you exercise for you to try. Please try this exercise. So until next lecture class, uh, goodbye everyone.